Yo, what's up everyone? Brother Six Stream here. I just want to say I appreciate everyone that's clicked on this video so we can actually see how strong Homelander is. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel if you're new so you don't miss any scale slash debunks ever again. Without further ado, let's scale Homelander now. Starting off, Homelander even as a kid was able to dent steel, which after finding the cubic centimeters of a human hand, you can get this to wall level or 78,000 joules, and we just barely got started with Homelander scaling. Now we're going to go in the first episode of season 1 where Homelander is able to throw a robber up in the air for 6.1 seconds. Now game theory is already calculating this and I'll show you. Going through it frame by frame you can see signs for Bowrum Place and Smith Street, real locations in Brooklyn, New York. Thankfully this means that we're able to get a pretty good idea of how far Homelander threw the thug. Since the standard New York City block is about 264 feet by 900 feet or about 80 meters by 274. Using that I was able to estimate that the robber was thrown about 135 feet. So after using the kinetic energy calculator he was ending up for 42,000 joules of energy. Even with my own calculation, that's still class 5 level of strength. That is gonna kill somebody when it lands in Boston. The distance between New York and Boston is about 220 miles, which would be verbatim class 100. By the way, he casually did this, everyone. A suppressed Homelander is able to overpower Soldier Boy. Now, considering it took place before the 2000s, we can say that it's a weight of 1,360 kilograms. And the height of a house is about this big, so this would be around like the class 50 ranges. But if you want to make the argument that it weighed more, it will still be class 50. But do whatever you want with those scans. Homelander could also scale above A-Train due to the fact that A-Train is scared of Homelander very much. A-Train, even with the injured leg, was able to tow away a train. Now, trains can weigh up to 8 million pounds to 44 million pounds, or almost 20 million kilograms. Now, this will put Homelander's lifting strength or overall strength into the Class M ranges. Playing? How? There's nothing to stand up. This will mean that if Homelander was on the ground lifting the plane, he would be able to lift 975,000 pounds at maximum takeoff, or again, the Class K ranges. Now that we're done with lifting strength, let's get on to speed and then durability slash AP. So Homelander's lifting strength can be anywhere from Class 25 to Class M. In terms of speed, Homelander is very fast due to the fact that he can catch it to a British Aerospace and a Boeing 747, where British Aerospaces can go up to 300 miles per hour, and Boeing can go up to 600 miles per hour, or the subsonic ranges at a low ball. When Homelander was looking for translucent, his speed went up to Mach 1.51, but this is even close to his best speed feat. Scene from the finale of Season 1, after confronting boys leader Billy Butcher in a house that's been rigged with C4 explosives, Butcher detonates them, hoping to hurt Homelander and himself. However, Homelander is able to move quickly enough not only to- C4 detonation is able to detonate at this rate per second. You also have to realize Butch is also being pushed at the speed. And for every pound lost on you, 0.64% is multiplied to your normal speed. He's also comparable to Stormfront who can go to Rochester to New York in about less than a minute. Even lowballing it, this gives us an amount of above 15,000 meters per second or around the high hypersonic ranges. It's verbatim stated that Homelander is the greatest superhero of all time. So this would mean he would scale above any superhero. This would mean he would be faster than A-Train, the same A-Train that was able to do consecutive 400 meters in less than a second. Here's the calculation for it. Here's the other calculation for it. Now this gun will be around the supersonic ranges. Now here's another calculation for Adrian as well, letting you know this is inconsistent. You know when I was And if you want to wrap this argument all that he's been space. through space once, he would be comparable to NASA aircrafts, which are like massively hypersonic. He was also able to speed blitz Gunman, which were calculated supersonic ranges. 
And again, he would scale up at A train, the same 18 that was able to tow away a train, which weighs about like 44 million pounds more than that. And after calculating it, we'll give him around the mass of the hypersonic ranges. But his best feat will be able to perception blood starlight's laser beams. And by the way, all of our light attacks come from electricity, which is literally the speed of light, so don't even. So this will make Homelander around the hypersonic to FTL speeds. By the way, it's stated at episode 8 of the Boys Diabolical series is canon. So all the feats from episode 8 of the Boys Diabolical are canon. Before we get into AP slash durability, I'm going to be debunking some arguments that people used to downplay Homelander. People used the argument that Stormfront was able to overpower Homelander. However, it's clearly shown that Homelander was holding back when doing this. And it's even shown that Homelander, while holding back, was able to easily damage Stormfront. And if you're all still coping still, allow me to show you more evidence as to why Homelander would be above her. So it's shown that Maeve is able to easily overpower Stormfront and make her bleed. Homelander, while holding back, was able to overpower Bloodlust and Maeve. And if you guys are still coping over the fact that Stormfront is stronger than Homelander, here's more and more piece of evidence. In this scene, Stormfront is scared of Homelander when Homelander gets a little mad at her. Meaning even she can't stop him when he's fully angry. And here's more evidence that Homelander was able to damage Maeve more than she could damage him. And if you guys try to downplay Homelander saying that he got stabbed and that damaged him, this only falls under piercing durability and this wasn't a pencil, it was a metal rod to the face. Like by looking at it, it clearly doesn't look like a pencil. And even if you're still coping over the fact that Homelander isn't stronger than Maeve, here's just one last piece of evidence for you guys. Black Noir is able to overpower Queen Maeve, and Homelander is able to one-shot Black Noir. And no, this was not an off-guarded situation. Black Noir already was looking at Homelander, and Queen Maeve already saw Black Noir, so you can't just say it's the off-guarded scene. By the way, if you guys think that Black Noir is the strongest superhero, there's no statement about that whatsoever, so don't even. With that being said, let's move on to AP slash durability. In the very first episode we see him in, Homelander is seen to be melting at MP5A3, which was calculated around the small building level ranges. He's also above Black Noir, who can tank building level explosions. Here's the calculation for that, real quick. He also tanked a living room size explosion, which was calculated around wall level plus to arguably small building level. He's also able to surpass Soldier Boy and even state that he was holding back. And Soldier Boy was able to overpower Billy Butcher more times than Billy Butcher overpowered him. Billy Butcher was able to break the gun, which was capped out like the wall of the ranges. Even without Temp V, he was able to overpower Translucent, who was able to take a car crash. So judging by the look of it, the car Billy Butcher drove was a Cadillac, which the heaviest it could be is like 6,400 pounds, and let's just say it was going 60 miles per hour just for the heck of it. So by calculating it, it would be around the wall level. He was also able to tank Homelander ramming into him around like higher personic speeds that were calculated with that. And by putting that in the kinetic energy calculator, it would come out to about building level. He can also scale above Queen Maeve who was able to tank Soldier Boy's explosion. And that explosion was about large building at the high end. He can also scale above Stormfront who was able to create this explosion. This was calculated around like the large building levels of power as well. He's also above Soldier Boy who can create this explosion. This was calculated around the city block levels of the power as well. Not to mention Homelander as a kid was stated to be above Prime Soldier Boy. Even on his first mission, Homelander was able to vaporize this door. This was also calculated around the large building level ranges. Now Homelander's best feat in general is being able to tank this chemical plant explosion. Now this feat was calculated around like town level, you can argue higher but town level is good enough. I know we're on like durability slash AP but here's like one more speed feat for Homelander. Soldier Boy was able to dodge a light attack from Starlight and you could argue that this was like via like the auto description for the episode. And he even implies that he'll destroy every domestic defense capability at the White House and the Pentagon. With one of their weapons being able to reach around almost the small building ranges. Now if you guys don't know Homelander and still use this statement. There isn't a weapon on it. Even though it's shown that Homelander can get affected by a metal rod. So Homelander would scale around like town level and like FTL at most. Now how does the comic iteration match up against this? 
Now starting off with physical strength, Homelander is able to slide his fingers through titanium which will be wall level or class 100 if he bended it. He can also casually lift cars and even hold up a bridge. Where the Brooklyn Bridge right now weighs about 14,000 tons or around the class M ranges. He's also stated to lift up a dozen Mack trucks. Where Mack trucks at a high bowl can weigh around 80,000 pounds. Or the heaviest Mack truck weighed about 330,000 pounds. So this feat would be around class K or class M maybe. He's also able to grab an AV-8C Harrier and even throw it multiple feet away. With this plane weighing around 30,000 pounds, and I was also able to calculate how long he threw it, and got a calculation for around Class K. And I have no more lifting strength feats from Comic Homelander. If you guys have any more lifting strength feats from him, let me know down below. Now let's move on to speed. Going off to speed, Homelander is able to tag Adrian, who can easily travel at Mach 3. You can also move faster than the human eye, which would be subsonic. But if you want to be a rat about it, you could just get this to higher Hypersonic Plus. He can travel from New York to Washington in a short amount of time. Let's just say, for the record, let's just say he did it in 60 seconds. That would just put him around the Hypersonic Plus ranges. Now I'm going to show you an episode from the Boys Diabolical series, which is canon to the comic book series. This superhero was able to go to the exosphere in about 20 seconds. And since I already showed you how far the exosphere is from the ground, you can get this to like sub-relativistic. The 7 is stated to be above superheroes from the 40s. But since that superhero isn't on here, we can't count him being stronger than the 40 superheroes. So Homelander would be around the relativistic ranges. But if you want to be a rat about it, again, it's stated that superheroes can dodge bullets and outrun Tachyons. Now Tachyons is basically a particle that can travel faster than light. And in order to travel faster than it, you need to be FTL+. Plus. Now let's get on to AP slash durability. Now I can't show the scene, but Homelander can easily tank humans being crushed at him. Which would be around wall level as well. Homelander can even one-shot Queen Maeve. Now Queen Maeve is stronger than superheroes from the 40s, who can lift and melt tanks. Now, melting tanks would be around city block level, but not to mention they can do it seven times that, so that would be around multi city block level. Homelander can easily go relative to his counterpart who tanked the plane explosion, which would be large building level. Now, Stormfront is able to imitate tidal waves and hurricanes, and since we don't see him on this list, he wouldn't scale above the 40 superheroes. Now, tidal waves can produce around 2 trillion kilowatt hours, which can result into this amount of joules, which would be around the large mountain ranges. But you could also use the scan too, which would get to island level. Now, hurricanes can produce around 1 trillion to over 100 quadrillion watts. And lastly, superheroes are able to swim on the sun. Credits to my boy Rodrigo for giving me the scale to solar system level. And since the boys can do 7 times that, that would just be a solar system plus. Alright guys, don't complain in the comment section, I'm only joking. But his real limit would be a hydrogen bomb to him, where hydrogen bombs can carry around several million kilotons of TNT, which you can probably get to around like the island level ranges, which would be consistent. And that wraps up the Homelander scale. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video from mine. And don't even try debunking any of these scales besides the ratty ones, because all the scales that aren't ratty are just literally verbatim stated, so don't even. Now, if you have different scales that can get Homelander higher than where I scaled them, please let me know down below. I would really appreciate it from you guys. By the way, guys, we're almost at 900 subscribers, so please subscribe to the channel so we could get 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to take a massive break. See you guys.